like the food. Are you gonna like? Welcome to my channel. I'm Fern, proud mum of two and wife to husband Ryan. We took a huge risk leaving our hometown in the north of England to the stunning French Riviera. It has been one crazy journey with some super challenging times, but the highs definitely make it all worthwhile and we've discovered parts of ourselves we never knew existed. Subscribe and join me for a peek into my daily life living on the French Riviera. Brand new video. Can you guess where we are? We're in Paris, baby. <laughs> Look at this. Guys, we've arrived in Paris. I'm actually quite surprised that we made it after the manic rush and close call this morning. Having to do the school run, quick dash to the airport. We literally had minutes to spare. run to squeeze in on the way to the airport <laughs> this is just how we roll gotta squeeze every last bit of juice you can out of life <laughs> <laughs> and we've just got enough fuel as well to get to the airport we've just noticed that's because we're in my car <laughs> yes school run done ryan's forgot his coat just looked at him and literally went Decision like, do I go back home and pick up the coat or do I go to Paris with no coat? I mean, I would never go to Paris with no coat. Every single time I've been, it's been freezing. Well, it says 11 degrees, so it's not too cold, but I just. We're going back for the coat, guys. We're gonna risk it. Risk it, yeah. Risk it. It's so good. Ah, but where? Yeah, because I don't want you thinking about it all the way to the airport. It's my job. My job to think about it, you know. Maybe we'll make it. Maybe we won't. We'll see. Come on. Robert, slow coach. We've got a slow coach. I think we might have made it, guys. <laughs> Just. It's still saying... Um... Boarding on the screen, like not I final said, call. Every bit of juice. <laughs> Room security. Yeah. Guys, we've even squeezed a coffee in there. Cheers. Woohoo! That's the queue right there, so we're actually good. Mm, what is that? That is a double espresso macchiato. That is lovely. Mm. But we've made it, and we're in Paris, and this is a Paris vlog. So before we get into this adventure, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. It massively helps the channel grow, which means one thing, I can keep creating content for you. This is a very, very fleeting visit. It's a very short trip to Paris. Actually, me and Ryan made one joint New Year's goal this year, and that was to do a monthly date night. Now, we got off to a real rubbish start because we didn't do monthly date night in January, which means we have to do an extra fabulous one in February. So, Valentine's Day is very, very close, and we are in Paris with you, the city of love. The city of love. We miss January, but we do it properly in February, so it's absolutely fine. First stop, we are starving. We've not eaten all day yet, and it's nearly 2 p.m. We're gonna go get some food. 
How are we going to do the usual anti-inflammatory, very, very strict lifestyle? Or are we going to think 24 hours in Paris, baby, let's do it all. Croissants, pan au chocolat, all the goodness. What are we doing? Uh, all the goodness. All the goodness. <laughs> are we doing all the goodness? Why not? I mean, you have to look at the 99% of your life, like, and that's how you make it happen in your head and allow for these treats. So, yeah, I'm hungry. Where are we going? Right now, I can see La Creme de Paris. Behind me is La Petit Point. Um, not feeling either of those two. What do you fancy? Ooh. Are we feeling Paris? Are we feeling the love? Oh, I forgot my beret. It's in the. We've just dropped our bags in the hotel, and I have got the perfect hat for this trip. Maybe I'll have to put it on tonight. It's basically, guys. It's it's a black beret, and it's got love hearts all over it. I can't believe I forgot that. Later. Later, you'll get to There's see the berry. Time. Yes. Um, shall we go get some food then, or what? Can we have a little walk? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Oh yeah. Not done. <laughs> right. Right there. No, no. It's okay. Merci. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Uh, yes, that was the Notre Dame and a guy asking to take a photo. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I have this 1% of my life, right? Where I basically have delicious treats <laughs> and eat what I want. And um, it usually happens, well, definitely at Christmas and travel and stuff like that. Anyway, I just make the decision in my head and I think, Burn, come on, you're amazing 99% of the time. You eat super clean and anti-inflammatory and perfect. And then the 1% is today, basically. So what we eat in when we're in Paris, what we do in? We can eat croissant. Croissant. Now, if I eat a croissant, then it has to be a absolutely like ranked 10 out of 10, five star out of five star, whatever you, you know, it has to be perfection, like Cedric Grolet or something like that. So I don't know about a croissant, because I'm not just getting a basic one. Um, I want more than a croissant right now. I'm really, really hungry. Here we have the Notre Dame, guys. Right there. Where to then? Oh, look, they just literally sat there eating to look at the Notre Dame. Oh, wow. So you grab your lunch and you eat there with that view. Look how many people are sat eating the sarnies there, look. Sarnies. Wow. I wonder who's got the best sandwich on there, or the best lunch. I reckon there's someone on there with a bit of jambon. Jambon sandwich, <laughs> yeah, Can jambon fromage. Can we I can see a couple of salads. <laughs> more rustic back street local places but we've just gone past it yeah, we're too it's just hungry French, it's French food, so yeah you know, we'll just go in there then it's busy enough inside isn't it Ryan may I see inside your burger please <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh wow. Wowie wow. Caramelised onions. Did it have the camembert on there? Yeah. Oh, it's got camembert on the burger. It's a cheesy, oniony, burgery, delicious thickness. Wait till you see mine though, guys. 
this is what anti-inflammatory queen has on a day off pasta smothered in delicious cream and parmigiano and truffle cream at that i'm sorry but let's just like look oh i'm sorry i'm sorry but look at that this was a good choice this restaurant oh hello hello come to mama oh my gosh mm. Good. Heaven. Mm. Monsieur, I did I did not like this food. Are you being alive? <laughs> I did not like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a good choice going in there and I was a bit worried because I wanted to find like a little rustic back street, like local place, but didn't disappoint. What did you think? Very good. Gorgeous, wasn't it? Pink and green always wins. I've got there was this little like quirky stand with all like vintage, original, old magazines and things like that. So I had to get some, they're amazing. This is the first one. We got October 1951, four euros. And this is the best one, it's me and Ryan, look. Look, gotta go in a frame, aren't they? Oh yeah, of I course. love stuff like that, honestly. So good, I could go back and buy loads more. They're all like different themes, different things, stuff for the kids' rooms. Just need a house, honey. I know. Yeah. I'm gonna get a bum shot. I just think it's cheeky, cheeky, cheeky bum. I'm gonna get. I, I want a cheeky bum shot. That would look great in a in a toilette. You've got two there, I think. Maybe I want two. <laughs> Um, do you want to choose a bum shot, a toilet shot? No, I think that one, yeah. I think that one would look really cute in, in a toilet, wouldn't it? Uh, the other one's a little bit raunchy, but that's just cheeky. Uh, is there any more that I want? What about that one, or is that a bit raunchy, Rye? That's a bit raunchy, that one, isn't it? This one's cheeky, that one's raunchy. Do you agree? Yeah. Or do you think they look cute side, side, side by side in a toilet? Merci. Merci. Oh, I'm happy with my little bum shots. Yeah. Cuteness. We've got a couple of vintage mags and some bum shots. Yeah. Merci. 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 Guys. This is our room number, 64. And honestly, no joke, it's Ryan's lucky number. It is. Let's have a look. What we got in here? Ooh, smells nice. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's a little quirky room. Look at this, we're literally on the top floor. Wow, oh, yeah. look at that, what a view, hello Paddy, oldie, worldie, Frenchy room, love, little coffee station, let's check out the bathroom, oh, Miniature, but everything we need. Shower. Woohoo! And that is our room, guys. What was the price, hun? 180 quid. 180 for a night stay here. What's in there? Oh, it's a little wardrobe. How cute! Little wardrobe with a twirl curtain. Smells lovely. Smells very soapy. Savon.
Okay, so we have voiceover for these sections of the video. You'll have to excuse me, but they was recorded with no sound, so apologies. Here's me just showing you my outfit of the evening, which was a black fine knit two-piece. It was super comfortable and stretchy, perfect after a day of indulgence. I will leave it linked down in the description box below. We had about a 10 minute walk from our hotel to where we got the boat and just look at that boat. It's absolutely stunning. Now we did a lot of research into which river cruise to get and it was quite overwhelming the amount that came up on Google and TripAdvisor. We weren't sure which one to go for, but after a bit of investigating, we decided to go with Le Calif. Now the captain of this boat has owned it for over 40 years and has completely restored and renovated it from being once a barge into the beautiful restaurant that it is today. Now this boat is a little more old and classic compared to some that was on offer which were more modern and a lot larger in size and I honestly feel like it was the ultimate romantic experience. I recommend anybody to do it. Now let's take a look at the menus. You have a choice of two. The first one is menu Khalif and you have a choice of three for starter, main and dessert. This is 107 euros per person. There is no drinks included in this option. Next is the menu Royal. Now this one, you get a choice of five options for starter, main and dessert. You also get drinks included in this. So you get a choice of still or sparkling water. You get a bottle of wine and it was a lovely bottle of wine as well. And you also get a glass of champagne. And then to finish off, you get a choice of tea or coffee. And this was 149 euros per person. I am going for the scallops and gambas for starter, which is here. And then for main, I think I'm going for the lamb. Uh, roast marinated shoulder of lamb with vegetables, the chef's speciality, captain's favourite, um, and Ryan's going for beef fillet, and then dessert, I mean, I don't even look at the desserts yet because I'm going to be so full, but... Yeah. I'm thinking iced nougat. Oh, wow, iced Oh no, nougat. apple tart. Oh no, can I really eat more tart? I don't think I can do chocolate with custard, that is heavy. Ice nougat. Ice nougat for me. Ginger caramel, yeah, that does sound nice though. Ooh, lemon cheesecake, lemon cream. Mm, so tough. For me, it's between the ice nougat and the cheesecake. The apple tart sounds really good. Get some champagne on this menu as well, for me. So here's the starter, just look at that presentation, it was absolutely beautiful. Ryan ordered the chanterelle foie gras puff pastry and I ordered the scallops and gambas in lobster sauce, both unbelievable. So here's the main guys, presentation looks incredible, but it's all about the taste. So Ryan ordered the beef fillet, which also came with potato d'appomois and some other bits and bobs, and he ordered it medium rare and it came out just to his liking.
Then I ordered the lamb, which was incredible. I've honestly not stopped thinking about it since I had it. It was the chef's speciality and it was also the captain's favorite. It was super crispy on the outside and then so tender and falling off the bone. I need to learn how to make this. Now to say this food was all cooked and prepared on a boat, you did not feel any reduction in quality. It was absolutely delicious. Here's the desserts, as if we can fit any more on top of this food pile. Honestly, we were so stuffed, but I ordered the famous iced nugget, or nougat, however you wanna say it. It was gorgeous. And Ryan had the tart tatin, which was also beautiful. Honestly, we waddled all the way home. We were stuffed and so unbelievably satisfied. L'edition, everybody. As you can see, the total was 298 euros. Now we paid a deposit of 70 euros, which left 228 to pay. And honestly, it was worth every penny. An experience I would recommend to anybody visiting Paris. And on that note, guys, I am going to love you and leave you, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for joining us. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Lots of love.